What is going on guys and welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be improving our greenhouse. Now, I actually recorded an entire video on this. We'll, we'll, we'll show a little clip of it here. Just show off what, we, what we're working with. We've made progress. I did more of this off camera last time, make, making the tower taller because it's not super exciting. Place wall, wall, window, place wall, wall, window, wall, wall. Like, it's not exciting. So we're not going to show everything we do. Um, but yeah, well, you can see how high we're getting up here. Our castle's looking great. We're... Going to get this done today. Our other, the other stuff we have slated for today, we're not going to get this done today, but we're going to get crop plots in here. We're going to get them planted today. We're going to get our our garden growing and get it lush and pretty full. We got to run our irrigator. But it was a complete failure. We've they've either changed some stuff with the greenhouse recently, or I've never built as tall as I tried to before. I'm not sure, because I could have swore I built taller than that. But what we originally tried to do. What is going on here? Oh, so they're starting to build their penguin farm. I told them they could take over this place, um, but that's not quite what I meant. Okay, let's uh, let's do this. Boop. And boop. I want to make sure we can run all the way around it here. Uh, we got a penguin farm going on in here. I'm not sure why there's a dillo in there, but uh, a polymer farm going on. <laughs> but what I tried to do was build it up the middle here, and what we found out... Hello. <laughs> what we found out is um, after you go 12 high, and I, I could have swore I built a 16 high garden before... But after you go 12 high using my reinforced garden, uh, which we'll show you how to build right uh, in just a moment, after I went 12 high, anything I put over greenhouse, hatch frame, whatever would cause a uh, greenhouse f effect 12 layers below that to stop working. So it appears Arc has changed something. You can only go 12 high on a greenhouse now. Um, but an interesting change, you used to have to go every four layers. Now you can go every layer. So we're going to build the reinforced greenhouse 2.0 with evidently the new stealth patch uh, greenhouse mechanics for Arc. So we're going to show you how to build it. We're going to craft up the materials we need and show you how to build this beautiful greenhouse uh, momentarily. Where we're going to do is right here where our old one is. Our old one, I need to check. I want to make it 12 high, maybe 11. We'll see what how greenhouse works. We're going to experiment here because they've changed something. So it's only 8 high right now. As you see, we got 4 stone, 4 wood. So we're going to make this 12 high. We're going to get it defended. And we're going to get our greenhouse inside. So what I found, the change being move trash I'm stuck on this thing's tail. <laughs> what I've found, uh, what we used to have to do here is we used to have a crop plot, then two high on top of this greenhouse wall. We would have another layer of greenhouse, then two high, then hatch frames with crop plots, then two high greenhouse. But what I've found after some experimentation trying to figure out what was going on is we can go 11 high and then put... All right, we still have to have... All right, back up. Hold up. <laughs> we have to have these uh, greenhouse walls down here. There's eight of them space just like this we have to have eight greenhouse walls down at the bottom in the middle this this is what gives us the greenhouse effect or part of what gives us the greenhouse effect for the whole structure so but what we've noticed is you used to have to go every other in two in increments of two every other greenhouse hatch frames greenhouse hatch frames with crop pots but what i've seen to found out is we can go 10 layers of hatch frames with green with uh, crop plots on them so 10 layers of vegetables then a solid layer of um, greenhouse, then another layer of hatch frames with crop plots on that just to keep people from falling in, and it'll greenhouse affect the entire structure. So that's what we're going to build today. We're going to show you guys how to build greenhouse, reinforced armored greenhouse 2.0 uh, from the ground up. Now we're re re or redoing one we already had made. This one is simply 5x3. It's got the greenhouse in the middle. You don't really need those wood ones there. I just had them for just kind of extra support in case an outside wall gets break. But... Yeah, it's just basically eight greenhouse walls spaced just like this. Um, so you go in, the basically come in your door, you're on your middle row, and it's just every other one. So you skip one, greenhouse, skip one, greenhouse, too high. That's all you got to do. And then we're going to do a solid layer. You see I already started with hatch frames right here all the way up. We're going to make this thing 12 high, 11, uh, maybe 11 high. If the, if the 12 cuts off greenhouse effect at the bottom, we'll go 11 high. Um, we're going to have to test it and find out here together. So we're going to go straf straft. We're going to go straft some textures. No, <laughs> we're going to go craft some structures because we need a bunch more hatch frames to get this bad boy going because it's 15 per layer. We've, we're going to need 11 layers, 10 or 11 layers of hatch frame, depending on how this works. And we're going to need a bunch of walls. So we're going to go craft up a bunch of structures here and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll be RBs as soon as they are crafted up.
<laughs> All right, guys, we're back. <laughs> uh, we just we were we were driving out to some system of down a little disturbed. Uh, <laughs> started out with sound of silence, and then system of down toxicity came on, and then I had to go listen to more system of down. And anyways, we got all that crafted. It took for frickin' ever, but it's all finally done. So if we can move, which it looks like we can, yay, we can move. We're gonna go. My chat won't go away. There we go. We're gonna go. Uh, maybe there we go. <laughs> we're gonna go work on the greenhouse now. All right, so let's finish getting this to wood. Then we need to extend it up a bit higher. I didn't make any door frames. We'll have to change that a little bit later. Oh god, oh. I was I was so busy like listening to music. I completely forgot what I was doing halfway through that. That's funny right there. Let's see. We don't really need these wood structures anymore, so we're gonna get resources back from them because we're pretty much past the point of building in wood. We're pretty much exclusively stone now. So we're just going to go ahead and snap over these. I know I could grind them, yada, 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 but I'm too lazy, and this is easier. <laughs> so we're just going to snap over them, and that one won't place. Come on, place for me. This one's backwards. Ah, OCD. There we go. So we're going to get all these placed. We're going to replace the walls. We're going to get it high enough. I'm still not sure if it's going to be 11 or 12 high. We're going to have to get up there and test the top layer and make sure it still works to see if the bottom layer still gets greenhouse effect. Because it seemed like you once you went over 12, like you would go 1 over 12, the bottom layer. If you went 2 over 12, like with another layer, the bottom two layers will stop working. So it's got like a 12 high window that it works in. And then that's like all the way to skybox. So if anything goes on top of it all the way to skybox, it, it stops it from working. So uh, it seems my armored greenhouse has now been limited to 12 high. But you can still make it as big as you want it. Like as wide as you want it. I think 3 wide is going to be enough. That's going to be 10 layers. Of three high, that's 150 crop plots if my math is not completely off today, <laughs> which it very well may be. So, but we're gonna go around, we're gonna, we're gonna, hopefully, maybe, there it goes. Uh, I gotta pick this ramp up. All right, we're gonna get all these put on. Let's hope we can put this ramp back down easily enough. There we go. All right, we'll have to come, like as I said, we're gonna have to come back and replace these door frames and after this, after the fact. Whoops, nope, wrong way. We want a wall. There we go. I don't know why, but sometimes I have to pick them up and sometimes I can place over them. But our goal is to get this greenhouse done today. This is attempt number two. Like I said, we tried to make it in the spire. That was a good two hours wasted this morning of trying to figure out why I couldn't do it in there. I, I had no clue why. Um, crap. All right, we're going to have to redo our irrigation. That feels bad because you can't snap a cauldron to a pipe, unfortunately. So we'll just have to... Redo the irrigation, but that's all right. It's not not that hard to do. Irrigation is easy, and hopefully that's not clipped in, and I don't have to pick that up. Good, it's not. All right, so we're gonna keep going, replacing. We can probably make our irrigation look a little better as well, because it's actually really sloppy inside of there. Place, hello. There it goes. Like I said, it's it's really sloppy in there. I did it really fast, and it's not exactly the best looking irrigation I've ever done. So we'll probably just go ahead and redo that anyway. Uh, not a big deal. Irrigation's easy. We can pick it all up since we have the building helper. If we couldn't pick it up, it's cheap to make, so. But for now, everything's not irrigated. I'm half tempted to pick all the crops up and make them start growing again, because this is driving me crazy. No, I can't see anything. But we're not going to, because that would be a waste. But we are going to get up on this layer, so you can kind of see what we got going on in here. Uh, no? No? Okay. It is... Oh, I hate it when it does that. It scares the crap out of me. Sometimes when you pull a building helper out or a vault remote and you right click too fast, it beeps like that. Uh, people will comment on me like all the time, like it's such a troll, such a troll. Why'd you leave that in there? It's like, I didn't leave it that in there. That's just the side effect of it being a remake of a C4 ROM. <laughs> so yeah, if you pull it out real quick, it beeps at you and it scares the crap. I was like, oh, no, no, blow anything up. Oh yeah. See, if you do it fast enough every time. So we're going to keep going here. Uh, we're going to build down on us like this because as you saw, we had to crouch to go everywhere. So we're going to, we're going to place one. We're going to test this out. I haven't thoroughly tested this theory, and it may be another scrapped as well, but we're going to try it. Oops. We're going to place all these down and see if we still get greenhouse at the bottom. If we put these down and still get greenhouse, we should be good. Uh, placing the doors on them and stuff shouldn't make a difference. So we're going to get our all of our layers of this placed real quick. Then we're going to drop down to the bottom, make sure those at the bottom still have their full greenhouse effect, and then we're going to keep going with this style build. Hopefully it works and we'll have the new and improved, actually more compact uh, armored greenhouse because basically the way it used to work, three layers of greenhouse would be 12 high. Uh, whereas now if we needed to do three layers of greenhouse, it can be as little as five high. 
um, because you don't have to have the buffers anymore, it seems. They seem to have changed something. And we look like we're good. We still have 300%. So we can put um, put it on all of those. We can. Re I'm going to re be removing that greenhouse layer up there and moving it to the top. So let's do that real quick. We're sciencing this out as we go. We're, we're, we're learning on the go here. We're testing. This is how I learned to do all this stuff, by the way. People ask, how do you know how to do all that stuff? Well, testing. So we're going to move these up here real quick on this corner. Don't have to do the whole thing. Just literally test like this. Boop. So now we can go down and we can see if that bottom corner has greenhouse effect still. And it should, based on my earlier testing, it should still have greenhouse effect. Maybe. There we go. If we can get in the door. 300%. All right. So let's go ahead and go up. I'll go, go up to 12 or go up to 11, put one, then go up to 12 and put a, uh, a hatch frame on top of that. And then we'll see if that still works. And if that still works, proof of concept complete. And we can build the whole greenhouse like this before we go too far. So we're going to pick whoop, we're gonna pick this back up. Uh, let's go ahead and pop a stone one on there since we're going to anyway. And I believe I said I was eight high already. So we're going four more. We got to go up. We got to go up, tippy, up to the tippy top and do a little uh, remodeling. We're going to have to get rid of those spikes real quick. We'll put more spikes on top when we're done. I'm surprised those spikes didn't uh, ruin the greenhouse effect, to be honest. I thought, I thought for sure they would have. But evidently, uh, spikes don't affect the greenhouse. So that's that's a good thing to know, I guess. All right, let's get these out of the way so we can grapple jump up. One, I will say, I love Game of The one annoying thing about putting it on the Atlas, I don't know if you guys can hear, but that hum. That wow, 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 that drives me crazy. <laughs> Holy crap, it's annoying. I'm sure you can hear it. It sounds like it's horrible, but it's there constantly. It never stops humming. And usually it's loudest right by the obelisk, but it's really loud right here for some reason. All right, so we're going to get this on here. We'll go out a couple just to make sure that this all works as it should. It's super loud right here. All right, so we get this on here. Then we got to throw a greenhouse ceiling right there. And hopefully, if all went well, we got we got 300 there. That's a good sign. Let's go check down below. Whoop, gotta go around. If that bottom right corner one still has 300%, we are good to go, and we can build up. But well, this is at least high as we can build up. But you can go every layer, which is 10 layers. Uh, I think we might need to go one layer. Okay, let's try to go one lower and see if we still have our greenhouse effect. I don't think I have any crop plots on me. Oh yes, I do. Okay, so we can test. We can test this without going back up top right now. It's simply going up one layer here, maybe. I said simply. There we go. By simply going up one layer here. Oh, we went up two. Let's see if we can get down one layer here. Oh, we did. Okay. So by going up one layer, if this one works, we know what we know what our new height is. So hopefully this one will work. Oh, we need to boopity boop. We need to put one of these on there. Throw one of these on there. Like so. And now we have to crouch. And give me that open. There we go. I didn't pay the code that yet. But all right. We've got to give it a few seconds to see if the greenhouse effect kicks in. There it is. All right. So we are one too high at the moment. So let's go fix that. So that's why I said 10 or 11. Because I'm sure, I wasn't sure if the 12th was causing it to fail or the 12th was the last layer. So you can only go the 12th layer if you put... If you put, tw you can only go 12, 11 above. If you go 12 above a crop plot now, and I know for a fact you used to be able to go 12, but you can go 11, we're 11 wells up. If you put that 12th above it now, it will completely ruin your greenhouse effect. So without further ado, we're going to get to building this thing. We're going to lower this all one, and we're going to get our greenhouse. So it appears since we're going 11 high, that's not 10 layers of crop plots because you're thinking, oh, 11 high, that's 10 layers. No, what we have to do is... We have to put our green our, our greenhouse file. We have to put our, our hatch frames here, and then below the hatch frames. Boop. Pretty sure. Yes. Okay. I was making sure. We have to have. We could go with the greenhouse ceiling, but as you'd probably know, greenhouse is extremely weak, so we don't want to do that. So for the extra protection, we have to have that one layer with uh, with uh, the the door for, the door the the trap doors and the crap plots on top of the trap doors. So that way you can leave them open and people can't just like fall in. So this is as reinforced as it gets. The weak point in this is always the crop plot on top. But there's nothing you can really do about that. So what we're going to do um, for testing here is we're going to go one down. This will be our final test to proof of concept to make sure this works as it absolutely should. In that corner, we're going to go 
one hatch frame, every layer, all the way down, just to test our theory here. Boop, boop, boop. There's... So how many is that? That's one, two, three. And I think we had... Yeah, that, so there's one, two, three, four, five, I think. Five. Yes, five and then a greenhouse. Does that include that one? Hold on. We're, we're doing bad. All right, we got our, our top. We got a greenhouse. We got one, two, three, four, five. The floor is six. Okay. Why, why do we have pets in here? It's driving me crazy, people. I'm trying to build... I'm trying to build a great house and you're putting pets in my way. Okay. Six including the floor. I can't forget my count. Six including the floor. Ah okay, let's 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 pick this up so we can move when we come in the door real quick. And we're gonna pick this up and this up so I can see. And this one doesn't have a plan on it. Alright, so that's the floor. So seven, um, eight. We're gonna pick this up. Oops, that, that broke it. Eight. Uh <laughs> eight, I think. Five. Six. What'd I say? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten crop plots. Eleven high. No, nine crop plots. So it should be nine crop plots. I can't count. Don't listen to me. I'm stupid. <laughs> I think it was five, six, seven, eight, nine. If I remember right. It might have been six. I can't count because the door's shut. And I can't actually see the whole building. I take that back. We can't actually see. All right. Uh, let's see. We got to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Which is eight walls, right? Yes. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. I think we might actually have more than I thought we did. So how tall do we have this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. So we got nine, ten, eleven. We got three more layers. Two of those layers, ten and eleven, are... So we got one more layer. So we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We should have ten layers of crap plots, I think. So I was right. Ten layers. <laughs> Thanks for sticking with me on that. We should have 10 layers of grab lots. I can't see them all inside at the same time. So we're going to get this whole thing built up. We're going to get it uh, ready to go. And then we're going to start hatch framing it out. Putting our crops in there and getting them all growing. we got to get uh, irrigation ran a little bit higher to these top layers. Because right now the irrigation only goes up to this layer. So let's get all this done. We're going to montage it. And we'll BRB as soon as we're done building. And we'll kind of explain um, how we built it and what we did. More so than we already have. We, we kind of showed you the basics of how everything works. But it's going to be a lot of crafting, a lot of placing, and a lot of pen and coding. So we'll be RVs as soon as we get this thing somewhat complete. And we might stop halfway through if we if we do anything important that needs to be done that I should that I need to explain. So we'll be RVs in just a moment. Ooh, I just broke that gate. <laughs> Alright guys, so we've decided to stop right here for the, for the moment being. Uh, not for the time being. Uh, just for a moment. We're going to remove a whole section of walls here just to see... How many actual layers of crop plots we have? Because I don't... How did I remove the hatch frame out of that? Jesus. <laughs> how did I do that? Uh, we're going to count how many actual crop plots we're going to have for this whole thing before I go and try to... Um... Ah! Come on, get in there. You can do it. There we go. Before I go to actually decide how... I want to know how many crop plots there are so I can divide seeds evenly and figure out how many we have. So, all right. So, there's our top layer that's not going to have anything but crop plot, empty crop plots. This is our greenhouse. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten crop plot layers of fifteen. So 150 crop plots. All right. Okay. No, don't you, don't you think about it. Get back in there. Close these guys back in. That kind of gives you a cutaway. We'll put that back on so the snails going up. That that kind of gives you a cutaway of like how the greenhouse is built. I guess I could. We'll make it a little wider. Show you. We'll leave the bottom layer on so the snails don't escape. But we'll show you what we're working with here. We can replace these easy enough. Boop, boop. All right, so this is kind of a cutaway of uh, what we're working with here. How it, uh, let me hit end. There we go, much better. How did it end? Show you what we're working with. How to hit end? Hit end. Show you what we're working with as far as the greenhouse goes. As you see, we got a layer of hatch rates on top. We'll put hatch rate, we'll put crop plots, or we could just, yeah, we'll put crop plots and open hatch frames on there. So this, the greenhouse effect still gets in. One layer of complete layer of greenhouse. And then we've got uh, 10 layers of. Um, hatch frames. I think it's, was it 10 or 9? <laughs> I'm already losing count. One of the, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my gosh. One, sh easier to count from down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So nine layers of hatch frames. One, it's 11 high. Nine hatch frames, one greenhouse, another layer of hatch frames, and then, of course, some of the floors. So we got 10 layers of crop plots, even though we only have nine hatch frames. So that, that, 
that's more or less it. Uh, it's a you could make this any as big as you want. If you go too wide though, you'll have to add more of these walls. But you can do it this width with only the eight greenhouse walls. So we're gonna put all these. Actually, you know what? We're gonna leave these off for planting. For planting reasons, getting in and out, and then when we're done, we'll close it up. We'll close it up nice and tight when we're done. But yeah, if 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 you're doing it on special, like I said, you would put, you'd want to put like doors in here with maybe one ceiling out so you can land on the ceiling and go in. But we're gonna we're gonna get these 150 crop plots. We might have to do some farming, but we'll get some we're gonna get some craft craft plots, some crop plots crafted up for you guys. And we're gonna be back uh, as soon as we get all these crafted up and we can get make sure we have enough seeds. We're gonna need 150, and there's nine, so we'll 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 figure out that's roughly 10 of each. But we'll figure out how many seeds we wanna do with crap plots. I know we're gonna probably do more narco berries than anything else, but we'll be back as soon as we figure out how we're gonna plant this thing and have our final design ready for you guys. So we'll be RBs in just a moment. All right, guys, we are back. I think I've got everything I need. We've got 150 trapdoors. We've got 150 crop plots. We've got 15 of each seed. we got 10 layers. There happens to be 10 different seeds, so it, it works out. Was it two, four, six, eight, ten? Yeah, that was me. Ten different seeds. Make sure I counted right. Uh, so it works out just perfectly. Only one, the bottom layer, I put the cauldron. I don't know if you saw it in the time lapse. I put the cauldron down right in the middle. So the bottom layer only has 14 crop pots. So we'll put something like Amara berries down there or something instead. So we're going to have an entire layer um, of each vegetable and each uh, berry. <laughs> berry, uh, which actually works out really well with the design because you end up with 10 floors, literally floors, to put berries and the veggies on. So it works out perfectly. So however big your greenhouse is, you can do that many of each. Of course, you could do less of one and more of another if you need to, but it works out perfectly. Being ten berries and ten floors, uh, so we're gonna go. We're gonna we're gonna fill each layer full of uh, one berry. I think fifteen crop pots of narco berries should be, hopefully, enough. I would hope. <laughs> we'll see if we start running low on something. We can like go to floor and we can like remove half of the amar berries and azul berries and put some more narco berries in if we need to because farming on this season is lower. So it's a lot, it's a, a lot more of a chore to farm, farm berries. So hopefully we can get this accomplished with, instead of a, um, a, a Bronto or something you would usually use to farm berries, which Brontos are disabled this season. We could just, uh, accomplish all of our berry farming with a greenhouse as I try to do every season. And of course we're thirsty. We'll let our salt meter, meter fill up a little bit. Before we uh, go get a drink, we'll try to get this. We'll wait. We'll try to get this layer done and planted before we go get our drinks. I guess I should make sure these are actually irrigated. Is it irrigated? Not irrigated. We, we may need to run our water higher, which isn't a big deal. I kind of expected I might need to do that. What? Oh, oh, I forgot to grab an extra greenhouse. I think. Yeah, we need to go grab an extra greenhouse as well. So we'll do that when we go back in and get a drink. Grab an extra greenhouse. What? Am I laying down? Yes, I am. It's like, why can't I do this? That was weird. The armor makes such a weird... I don't remember Flack making that noise when I crawl. <laughs> I think I have my sound really high. I don't know if you guys can hear the obelisk, but it's driving me crazy here in that constant buzzing. But we're going to plant... Uh, and I think our veggie crate in the base might actually be have enough range to reach this whole greenhouse. I'm not entirely sure. We're gonna we're gonna plant probably plant azul berries on this top layer just because they're not that important. And see if they start pulling tomorrow. And if they don't then I know that it's not reaching and we'll have to put one closer. But hopefully the one in the base will reach this. So let's go ahead and put um an azul berry in each crop plot. Did I grab azul berry seeds? Yes I did. I thought I thought I grabbed them all. We need to grab another, um, Gus to grab us another greenhouse ceiling while we're at it. But yeah, guys, we're going to go through, we're going to fill all these crop plots up with seeds. Uh, like I said, 15 of each, maybe some more of, oops, no, not knuckleberry. Maybe some more of some other ones, but we'll be RBs as soon as we get all these crop plots planted because it's not too exciting to watch. Plant, 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 thirst to death. Oh, my salt meter's getting full. 
All right, guys, we are back. It's finally done. I left the cutout crossaway section there. We're here joined here with America. Oh, that's the crossbow. <laughs> I tried to punch you. Uh, but we got uh, yeah, we got it done for the most part. It's like I said, it's very compact. There's 149 crop plots in there. 150 if you take out the cauldron and put a crop plot where it is. But I wanted to put the cauldron nice and in the middle. It's all irrigated. It's all beautifully compact. And we're going to show you how we did it with a... Uh, with a quick overview. Now you see there's a hatch frame every layer up to the ninth layer. That's layer number nine. Um, and then on that hatch frame, you put your crop plot. Well, you pin pin code the trap door first. Uh, then you put your crop plot, plot down. Just leave it shut and do all your layers. And then you can open them all at once with a keypad. And then put on the 10th layer, you put a layer of greenhouse. And then on the 11th layer, you put another layer of hatch frames and you put... On a normal server, you would put large crop plots on the top. You can use medium ones inside, but put large crop plots on the top and put plant species in them so they're an active defense so people will at least have to get through that to get down into it if they need to. On this server, I just put medium crop plots up there because we don't have plant species enabled, so they're more or less just to cover the hole and not much else. I may throw some narco berry plants in there. They won't have greenhouse, greenhouse effect or anything, but, you know, some extra berries for the heck of it. But I did plant 15 of every berry and every vegetable except for a marberry. It got 14 because it was on the bottom layer and I had, I said I wanted to put the cauldron there. Uh, on a normal server, you would just use um, an intake pipe and put it near water so you wouldn't have to use up that crop plot space. But it's not a big deal. I'll show you the uh, keypad here and the greenhouse effects. See, we got 300%. If we close this... Two, 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 two. No, <laughs> I get that comment all the time when I'm streaming. It's like, why do you, why do you show your code on stream? I always two, 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 two. It's like I'm using my numpad, people. It's my code's not two, 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 two. That's just the default position of the mouse. <laughs> uh, but no, uh, you see, greenhouse is at zero percent. We activate. We put in our handy dandy keypad code, and voila, three hundred percent on every crop plot in here, all the way through. That one's not updated yet. The snails crawling on top actually block the greenhouse every now and then. So I'm probably gonna end up moving these snails somewhere else, make them in their own little uh, snail hut. But as you see, we got irrigation running straight up the middle. There's only four branches off the irrigation for uh, taps. You can see up there. One, two, three, four. Four taps. It goes out one each way from the middle on intersections and a tap on each of those. And that waters the whole thing with, I think, 12 taps to water the whole thing. Not bad. You could get away with less if you space them better, but they're just stone. So I just, you know, cheap. Put them in. Let them go. But I hope you guys did enjoy the build today. It's the patent pending armored greenhouse. Keeps the trolls from breaking the greenhouse glass at least initially on a normal server it keeps your trolls out too you would build it out of metal instead of stone and as i said put the plant species on the top you can still use the medium crop plots as you don't have to fit them in there perfectly if you're unofficial you have some wiggle room to kind of offset them if, if they're not perfectly straight if you use large crop plots you have to get them just right to get in there but on official large crop plots are a little more important because you have the extra inventory slots but with the aa veg crate it's not such not such a big deal but I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel for future content. Comment below on how much you hate America. And we'll catch you in the next video. Later, guys.